Welcome. Today we will show you a few things you should keep in mind when connecting and commissioning the SMA EV charger. For your safety, please always observe all safety information in the manuals for each individual product. In the case of the SMA EV Charger 22, we are seeing an increased number of faulty connections in the three phase AC lines. If line conductors L1, L2, and L3 are not connected in the correct order, some functions such as automatic phase switching cannot be fully utilized. This may result in errors such as interruptions in the charging procedure. Therefore, it is important to connect the individual line conductors of the AC cable in accordance with the labeling on the terminal. This applies only if there is one SMA EV charger in the system. In multi EV charger operation with up to three SMA EV chargers, all charging stations must be connected to the utility grid on a rolling basis. If you use SMA EV charger together with the Sunny Home Manager 2.0, line conductors L1, L2 and L3 must also be connected to the Sunny Home Manager in accordance with the labeling. Otherwise, you cannot use the smart charging modes. Using the correct line conductors for connecting the charging cable are just as important. Here, two mixing up line conductors L1, L2 and L3 causes undesirable behavior. For the single phase EV charger 7.4, the charging cable must be connected to line conductor L1. The connection must have the correct line conductors as the connector of the charging cable must be assigned in compliance with the norm to ensure compatibility with all vehicles. For example, single phase charging is always done with line conductor L1. When you connect the charging cable, also remember to connect the red CP line to the CP terminal block. This must be ensured for both the single phase SMA EV charger 7.4 and the three phase SMA EV charger 22. The CP line is used to communicate with the electric vehicle. If this is not connected, it is not possible to charge. Use only the charge cable included in the scope of delivery. Do not use any adapter or extensions for the charging cable. If the supplied charging cable is too short for your application, SMA offers various lengths of charging cable as accessories. You can find the link to the online store and the order numbers in the description of the video. As soon as the assembly and electrical connection are completed, you can start commissioning the SMA EV charger. Close the cover of the housing and fasten the connection flap of the SMA EV charger as described in the manual. Then switch on the AC miniature circuit breaker. After that, wait until the SMA EV charger is ready for operation. This can take up to 4 minutes. You can tell that the SMA EV charger is ready for operation when the green LED flashes slowly. Before connecting the SMA EV charger to a vehicle, you need to test the charging station in accordance with the IEC 61851. This test is used to simulate various charging requirements. Please note that the test checks safety relevant functions of the charging station. Damage to the connected electric vehicle can only be avoided if the test is passed successfully. The test must be performed with a test box. During this process, the SMA EV charger must be in fast charging mode. Wait until the charging operation is started. That takes about 2 minutes. You can tell that charging operation has started when the green LED lights up or pulses. A test protocol must be filled out during the test. 
you can find an example of such a test protocol in the SMA download area or under the link in the description. After the test has been completed, if there are any defects, they must be remedied. Only then is a vehicle allowed to be connected to the SMA EV charger. Remember that in addition to the test protocol, you must also fill out the grid operator's acceptance protocol and hand it over to the grid operator. To be able to charge your vehicle in smart charge mode, the PV system must provide at least as much power as the connected vehicle needs to start the charging operation. The power required depends on the vehicle. To be able to charge the vehicle, even if the required power is not available in the PV system, use the fast charge mode or modify the share of PV energy required for charging in smart charge PV surplus charge mode. For more information, click the link in the description to watch the video SMA EV Charger 7.5-22 Registration and Sunny Portal. Thank you for watching this video on frequently asked questions about how to connect and commission the SMA EV Charger. We hope you enjoyed the video and that it could help you with your questions. If not, please feel free to leave us a comment. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. And if you would like to see more similar videos about SMA products, please subscribe to our channel.